Hey guys, this is Cody from Fungicopia, and today I'm out hunting Horn of Plenty, or the Black Trumpet, or the Black Chanterelle, also known as uh, Craterellus cornucopioids. And this is a, a delicious mushroom. Very rare, and also uh, kind of hard to spot at first, until your eyes lock into it. Um, although it's called the Horn of Plenty, it should be also called uh, the Horn of Seldom in some areas, because they don't really that, <laughs> they don't really grow that... Uh, that abundantly in, in a lot of the areas around my region. It's also a really short window and uh, if you happen to pick them a little later they look like this. They lose all their color. They kind of go a bland yellowish uh, brown. But if you get them quick enough and uh, you got the eye, you'll see that there is quite a few of them around. And they're completely hollow. Um, here's one of the older ones here. And once you do spot them, you want to have yourself a good little look around because they uh, they do tend to grow. I wouldn't say abundantly, but uh, that's another older one there. Here we go. There's some nice ones. But you will find them growing gregariously, so. When you do spot them, uh, definitely have a little peek around. Uh, they grow in the same area and at the same time as, horn, or, uh, as uh, Old Man of the Woods. And they predominantly grow with oak and maple. And you'll find them on the ground. Um, they appear to be saprobic and mycorrhizal, so... Um, I tend to find them either in exposed areas or in really uh, rich, nutritious earth areas. And as you can see, here's some Old Man of the Woods. Another one. So if you spot either of these black mushrooms, either the Old Man of the Woods or Horn of Plenty, you might want to have yourself a, a quick little look around. I guarantee you'll be in an oak forest or an oak beach forest. Uh, because that's where both of them grow. And uh, I tend to find them on the high ground, funny enough. So um, you will find them also in low ground and flat ground and whatnot, but uh, in my experience, the Horn of Plenty is, uh, it grows with the larger oaks, which you're going to find on the high ground, or in hilly areas. They're very beautiful, uh, they require a little bit more thorough cooking than the other chanterelles, they're a little bit more tough, but uh, they absolutely are delicious, and they're really, really good with fish, and uh, yeah, I'll keep... Uh, filming stuff here for you all day guys we'll keep finding a lot more and uh, hopefully at the end of the day here we'll have a great haul so you can see they kind of look like a black flower They're completely hollow and uh, as I said there's an old man right over there so you can see they grow in the exact same area. They're both black, so they're both kind of hard to spot at first, and a lot of people overlook them. But uh, and they, as they age, they kind of turn a yellowish or a light brown color. They're still good, actually, if they're a light brown color like this. But uh, it's definitely better to find them when they're nice and black like this guy here. Uh, it's about September 10th right now. Everything's about a week or two behind here. So once you start finding one or the other, definitely start keeping your eye out for... Uh, for another black mushroom. These are two of the uh, the only black gourmet mushrooms that you can find. So they're kind of unique that way. There's another guy. And uh, they are delicious. So these guys I will be picking. And uh, I have both the Old Man and Horn of Plenty on culture now. So. If you want to try and grow it, which you will fail at, uh, you can buy that on my website at fungicopia.com. These beautiful, beautiful flowers. Oh my god. Sometimes you'll find them sort of a blue hue or a light purple hue, which is kind of nice. But uh, you can see the, the gills on the outside. They have false gills, but it's more uh, less pronounced even than, than regular chanterelles. Hard to even pick it up on my camera. Very smooth, very, very soft ridges. Almost uh, invisible to the naked eye. Very, very, very tiny. If 
And yeah, these are fantastic. So this is Horn of Plenty, grown on the side of a riverbank. There's a little one there. And they're growing with beech and maple. They're pretty big, like they're not like a super small mushroom. Um, you can see sort of these half-assed false gills, sort of. They almost look perfectly flat. And they're hollow, just like a trumpet. The biggest I've seen them grow is like five, six inches, so they don't get like tremendously large, but uh, big enough. Bigger than regular chanterelles for sure. And uh, yeah, you're gonna find them in the fall here. They come out a little bit earlier in the States, but uh, up around here, around the Great Lakes region, across from Michigan, you're gonna start seeing them at the start of September, the end of August. And uh, yeah, I really hope you guys can get out there and find them. You really have to, uh, before you see them for the first time, it's gonna be really hard for your eyes to lock into these guys because they blend right in with the, uh, the forest floor, especially in the shade. Um, but once your eyes have uh, sort of accustomed to them, become accustomed to them, you'll, you'll start seeing them everywhere. And because of their uh, gregarious nature, when you do find one, have yourself a, a good look around. You can really see the gills on this one. They're just like a little tiny streamline, smooth curves in the outside of it. Really, really amazing mushroom. Super happy that the season started for these guys. And uh, so will my restaurants. So I'll talk to you later, guys, and let's go see if we can find some more. Woo! Another thing with Horn of Plenty is that uh, you're going to find them typically in areas that are hidden by uh, the afternoon sun. So the morning sun's not nearly as strong. Um, but the afternoon sun, these guys, because they're so thin, they dry out really quickly. They prefer areas where they get the afternoon shade. So that's another reason why you're going to find them in older growth forests where they, uh, they get shade all afternoon. So uh, here we got some really big craterellus cornucopioids is the Horn of Plenty. As you can see these are massive ones. They're not normally this big. And these are delicious. They're super nice. You can see they're hollow too. Which is like a distinguishing feature with these guys. They're like thin chanterelles. They're also known as the Black Chanterelle, Horn of Plenty, or the Black Trumpet. And these are wicked. These are some of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Today I'm out with my good luck charm. <laughs>